Moving on, a day after actor Robert De Niro uh, used a derogatory language against U.S. President Donald Trump, uh, the president has hit back at the actor, calling him a very low IQ individual, quote unquote. Trump responded to De Niro on Twitter as he returned from his summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un in Singapore. President Trump tweeted, and I'm quoting, Robert De Niro, a very low IQ individual, has received too many shots to the head by real boxers in movies. I watched him last night and truly believe he may be punch drunk. I guess he does not realize the economy is the best it's ever been, with employment being at an all-time high and many companies pouring back into our country. Wake up, punchy, is what the president said. At Sunday night's Tony Awards, De Niro launched uh, an expletive at Donald Trump and apologized to Canadians for quote-unquote idiotic behavior of President Trump. They blew up their sites. They blew up their testing. Gentlemen, Robert De Niro. I'm going to say one thing. Trump. It's no longer down with Trump, it's Trump. Now I'll get to this. And it's not only Robert De Niro, a whole host of U.S. celebrities have slammed President Trump for his erratic behavior and I hurling insults really at like others. Sarah. Actress Meryl Streep also did not spare the president. In an emotional speech during the 74th annual Golden Globes, uh, he, uh, she hit out at Donald Trump for imitating a differently abled New York Times reporter. Comedian Michelle Wolf slammed the U.S. president during this year's White House Correspondent Dinner, which was not attended by Donald Trump. In August last year, George Clooney, a longtime liberal activist, did not mince his words when it comes uh, to Donald Trump. He said, and I'm quoting, it becomes increasingly clear how in uh, over his head and incapable this man is of being president of the United States. The good news is that our other institutions, meaning the press and judges and senators, have proven that the country works. There is a check and balance, unquote. He wants to give teachers guns? And I support that, because then they can sell them for things they need, like supplies. <laughs> it is kind of crazy that the Trump campaign was in contact with Russia when the Hillary campaign wasn't even in contact with Michigan. <laughs> but there was one performance this year that stunned me. It, it sank its hooks in my heart. Not because it was good. It was, there was nothing good about it. <laughs> but it was effective and it did its job. It made its intended audience laugh and show their teeth. <laughs> 